KFW. Steve, let's go for it. Our next guest did an amazing job as a star of this upcoming film called Flash of Genius, which I think BJ and I would agree is awesome. And uh, many remember him in memorable roles that he's played in movies like uh, As Good As It Gets, Little Miss Sunshine, Autofocus. But for me, I will always love and respect him for his role as Captain Amazing in Mystery Men. Please welcome to the show Greg Kinnear. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Now, here's the thing. That's awesome. I know how to take a bow, don't there I? There you go. <laughs> now, Greg, because of the fact I am a guy that speaks honestly, because I just dropped a bomb on you before we went on the air, but I mean, the thing is, is your movie is very powerful, and the movie uh, Flash of Genius does basically say, hey, guess what? There was a major car company that did something very bad to a very, very good man, um, and because we're in business and we have all these advertisers, I want to be vague about the car company, but the movie is and, and I think the movie sends an important message that pretty much all businesses need to know about, especially since we're in this financial crisis we're in right now because of big business, you know, well, screwing people over. Yeah. I did not know the truth about a little thing like an intermittent windshield wiper. I had no idea just what that device did to a man's life and what a major car company also did with their bad actions. Yeah, this was uh, this was a, a tough road for this guy. I mean, he invented something uh, very unique. It was born out of a personal handicap, and uh, he he felt a great personal connection to it, and he brought it to an unspecified car company. <laughs> a big one, though. A very big one. It doesn't start with F or any other th- letters, for that matter. It's just vague. <laughs> hey, Greg, is there, is there and, any chance uh, you'll just see... Will you mention the car company in the movie, like, probably the entire movie? Because <laughs> yeah, you, it, yeah, it's pretty you, obvious right off the bat. You, yeah, it's, it's, kind of a, it's kind of the elephant in the room. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> you know, listen, the truth is, is, it's really not about them. I mean, at the end of the day, this was a guy who, who took on a, an amazing battle and uh, uh, you know, the, those kinds of stories in, in literature and cinema, I've always responded to. They're always great. The fact that this was a real-life experience this guy went through. I mean, he's a big Irish Catholic guy, had six kids, developed this idea, brought it to him, had the idea basically stolen from him, and spent the rest of his life trying to get them to acknowledge that what they had done was wrong. And, of course, they offer him. They do. Listen, these guys aren't painted with black hats and twirly mustaches. They do what car companies do or any other big corporation does in a situation like that. They try to settle with them and find a way out of this and compromise. And as his attorney, Alan Alda, tells him, you know, when when companies do something wrong uh, and you want justice, there's no ticker tape parade. You don't get a key to the city. You get a check. And Mm -hmm. unfortunately, they'd mess with the wrong guy. This was a guy who wanted principle. He wanted principle to be established. He wanted them to acknowledge that what they had done was wrong. And uh, that's, a, that's a pretty strong adversary for, for a company to uh, face. And, you know, and Greg, the price he paid was huge. I mean, that's the thing you have to respect about somebody who, you know, really said, you know what, I want principle to be done here, but he lost so much because of it. I mean, at least, at least from the portrayal that you did, which was excellent in the movie Flash of Genius. Yeah, he leaves, uh, he leaves a lot on the table, and I think that's probably the case of of, of anybody who's ever done, uh, you know, any fight, a- any any fight that's faced any strong, uh, you know, presence or, or company or any sort of governmental entity, uh, there is a price to be paid here. And, and and in fact, the intermittent windshield wiper. What's great about it is it's not like this guy, you know, you know, it's not like uh, he f- saving kids from tainted water or nuclear power plants. This is the intermittent windshield wiper. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not like he. Inv- invented brakes you know there's a there's a device you can't live without so so what happens very quickly in the movies you kind of set that aspect of it aside and you realize right. oh wait a second the, this is something this fight is about about something else this is about principle and when people fight for principle of course there's an enormous cost and and uh, and in the case of uh, dr kearns he, he like i say he left a a lot on the table and you know, these guys who actually stand up to these larger entities are are to be uh, commended. I mean, we were looking at an environment right now around this country where all these big companies and corporations and places that promised all of these stockholders and individuals that they'd take care of them, they got your back, you won't be marginalized, are now proving them they're falling through the cracks. And, and uh, you know, there will be individuals who are going to stand up right now and probably take, be taking on on their own individual fight. So it's, it's relevant that way. Here we are with the biggest financial crisis we've seen, at least since the Great Depression, and we're seeing that your movie 
is really the key to it all. Greed and the lack of caring about a human being and um, is really where we are right now. That's why your movie, I don't think it could come out at a better time. I mean, Flash of Genius, I think, will tell you everything you want to know about why we're in the crisis we're in. Well, uh, yeah, I, I think it is. Uh, I think it is relevant. And, and you know, be, before people start going, geez, man, that sounds like a heavy flick. Uh, I, I would say that it's, it also is a very uh, kind of entertaining jaunt that this guy goes through. He's a very yeah. he's a very human guy. We don't try and portray him as, uh, you know, it's not Rudy with windshield wipers. It, no, at it, times, know. he's not even very likable. Yeah. But, you know, you still you're still kind of rooting for the guy, even though you don't like God, he just threw away his family, like his marriage and all that. And you're yeah. still like. Wow, I still kind of yeah. want to see this guy get you know get his, his get the the win at the end. He yeah. was pissed at the guy actually. Yeah. He was like, "What's wrong with you, dude? Yeah. You lost your family. Just well, give up was... the cause and get your family yeah. back." Well, I just thought it was like an interesting dilemma in the sense that you know he has to choose fifteen or something years of fighting for a, a good fight for his pride and for his ego and for you know to, to prove that you know what he did shouldn't have been stolen. But in the process, is it worth losing your wife? Is it worth losing the respect of your kids for a while? And I just thought that was an interesting dilemma. And I don't know if I would have went the way that he went. I think I would have probably still been, well, my family should come first. Yeah, that part of it's unsettling. I'm a dad. I got two kids. And you think, wow, well, you know, sure, you were being marginalized by uh, by this unnamed Car company, <laughs> which, and, uh, which, by the way, will be named a lot in the film. Oh, you'll God, see it, yeah. or if you yeah. read an article, you'll be able to figure it out quickly. And it's a big, and, it's a big car company, damn it. Uh, yeah, that was a, that was a fun movie to uh, fun movie to do. Are we <laughs> looking at porn? Just that, what is that? No, <laughs> what? Uh, it's on uh, the computer screen here. Computer he just flashed up, flashed up a couple of yeah. uh, pictures oh, here. They go back. My computer. What the hell is going on here? Why can't you? Why is not me talking about my art? I was trying to look up the <laughs> damn name of the coach that he was when he coached the Yankees. That's all, and then this that's, thing popped up. It's not one of the coaches I played, I can tell you. Buttermaker. buttermaker. Yeah, that's Buttermaker yeah, right there. Right. He's yeah, looking at her Buttermaker, <laughs> apparently. Wow. I didn't put that up there. I don't know. What is wrong with you? Wow. Why can't I ever have a freaking guest game without you being a troglodyte, really? Greg, why do you sell me Jeez, out like that, man. dude? Sorry, I was just, like, <laughs> torn up. I'm trying to talk oh. about Little Miss Sunshine, and all of a sudden, it's like, you know, I'm looking down at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah Little Miss Sunshine. I know. I, wow. I apologize. Hey, for gather that. around, Greg. We got Red Tube pulled up on our computers right now. <laughs> so about Little Miss Sunshine, boy, I, that was a hell of a movie. I, I don't oh even know what I. Oh my God. Yeah. What I, do you want from me? What I, I, I want from you? I want you to be a regular human being. That's what I want. From I you. don't look at porn. I, I no, especially with the guy right here. I mean, come on, dude. You know, I'm if saying, that was, if was I, the, my computer's been effed up all morning. You know, here's the thing. The trouble is, is this? You think this is the first time? Now, Greg, it's the first time he's seen this or yeah. experienced you like this. But anybody listens to the show on a regular basis know that you're, you're a deviant. Thank you for that. Uh, well, Greg, Whatever. boy, it's been a... Well, I mean, anyway, um, it's a fascinating film. I can't uh, talk about your family at this point. I feel, yeah. I feel dirty no, to do that. Suddenly, yeah. the interview is taking a sudden turn. Yeah. Yeah. I'll make it go away. Oh, yeah. well, now, he, now he switched over to fantasy football to make no, us no, all. This is the... What's happening with those bears? Huh? How are the Seahawks doing? Let's check that out. Yeah. <laughs> wow. wow. And, oh, no, he went to my own little web page yeah, now. See, Don't put me next to that other well, stuff. That's unsavory. <laughs> oh, man. That's what the oh. history on the, the, the browser is going to say. Yeah. Porn and Greg Kinnear. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> That'll be interesting to explain to IT. Uh, it's KISW Seattle. Greg Kinnear. The movie is Flash of Genius. Opens up in theaters October 3rd. Um, and if we can get back to Little Miss Sunshine. Uh, you know, Greg, it's funny. When they bring stuff like that to an actor, you know, because, uh, well, I watch Entourage, so now I know everything about the movie business. Sure. Um, that'll tell you. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, it is interesting. If somebody like came to you and said, so listen, we're going to do a uh, a movie like with like, like you know like for instance about Flash of Genius, it's going to be about windshield wipers. Greg, Greg and you're perfect for this. I mean, how do you? I mean, how yeah. does that get sold to you before you even read the script? Because it is basically, we sat in the theater for the first ten minutes and go, this is a movie about a windshield wiper. Well, especially <laughs> the slow motion scene when the windshield wipers go in the middle. So I'm like, oh my god, this is really happening. And then, <laughs> but then it just sucks you in. Like and then I'm like, oh wow, this is a great story about ethics. I gotta know though. Seriously, there had to be a time when you talk with your agent and you had to go. I'm sorry, what? Do you want me to do a movie? Yeah, about? yeah. We're not looking better than this right now. That's what we got. All right, uh, that's cool. I guess. Uh, yeah, no, it was uh, work, truthfully. Work. I, I read the original script. Uh, believe it or not, was titled uh, "Windshield Wiper Man," and it sat, no. on, yeah, sat on my desk for like two months. I thought it was the uh, like a superhero with a squeegee, you know, and a cape. And I, uh, I honestly, I just thought there's no possible way this is happening. The BJ Show. 
Weekday Morning Experience on 99.9 KISW.